Hello everybody and welcome to part number five slash three of Broken Age because it's episode five of Broken Age. It's episode three of Villa's story in Broken Age. So it's five and it's three. It's really weird. So um Yeah, I um I had a bit of an idea um, since the last video. Cause um I was only stood there for like five seconds and I still got an idea. <laughs> so um we got him um, the empty gun for some holy tear gas. Sure Move, get this and like squirt on myself or something. Because um, I mean, later on, the so-called what um, what we thought was mate, we thought was no a mate. Way. I'm not becoming seagull bait. Oh, okay. And it said that he, it's just like um, it said that we didn't have the right scent. So, also, Hi. I talked to these. You maidens guys. getting ready for the maidens feast? I want to be in the maidens feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Um, hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Okay, okay, so far, so good. Uh, I'm just gonna try doing this on everybody mm -hmm. now. Oh, all that. The first one worked, apparently. Gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? You can have them back! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chopra about you, Drusilla. I can burn. My dad knows this. Oh, man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. I got this in bucket ages ago, but we haven't used it. Um, My beast it. hooker is already in a dispenser. And it, wow. Again, oh, first thing you were. decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? Oh. So, yeah, I think I've seen it before, was it? No, it wouldn't have been in the tree, would it? Hey, can I have some oh, of yeah, I'll let you get back to your screaming. Uh, <laughs> my coat! Can't... Oh boy. In case of snake, blow horn. You're welcome. 
Curtis. Click to Matt. Come on. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that is that the same symbol? I feel like it's. I feel like that's the same symbol, just upside down. I get it. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hey, about this art. Yeah. I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically. But I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Oh, we have uh, quite the assortment of stuff here. Um, we have a ladder with some shoes on. We have some bird shoes. We have some weird glass thing. We have some... What was it called again? Beast hooker or something? Yeah, I think it was beast hooker. Perfume, basically. A stool and this weird art thingy. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> Then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. <laughs> hey, Clarence, bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Yes, of course it would have never failed. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. So for a start, is it the same symbol? The ladder doesn't understand yeah, art yeah, any more than I do. Just a bit to the side. Yeah, there we go. You found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead eye god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. 
Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Oh, wow, wow. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is he sheer from the future? Because he said that he was trying to hack into it, yeah. Yeah, um, he said that he was trying to hack into the controls. He looks yeah. like Cher. Yeah, he looks like Cher. He wears similar outfit, similar boots. He said that he was trying to hack into the controls. The, the final mission in Cher's story is hacking into the controls. He said that some weird stuff happened. A giant eye-looking thing flew up at the end of, of Cher's story. That was pretty weird. And then the next thing in you were here, so... Huh. Pretty similar stuff. Plot twist. Are you she? Answer me. <laughs> Answer me. <laughs> it's like um how Vella is <laughs> Shea's mum. Pretty colours. Whoops. Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry. I'll get a new one. Uh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. Wait a minute, a laser coil? Looks laser. better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? That's not a good place to hang a ladder. Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful, weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! Yay, death ray! Hooray, death ray! <laughs> Hooray, death ray! <laughs> and I Rhymes all the time. You're so ugly. <laughs> I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> Okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Ooh. Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not going to need it. Steel bunting. <laughs> Sugar bunting. You need to take this seriously. Ready when you are, Marshal. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! You know what to do, girls. Oh,
That's a lot of ice. This way, follow me. I'm here. That's not gonna help. Get ready to fire that thing. Take the shot. There's more where that came from. Do it. You seem to be working. Just a slap on the wrist. Take the shot. Hold still. Oh no, it does run away. Hit it. I knew that wasn't my fault. And maybe I'm not meant to. Let's just run around. around. Oh, okay. Um, that's your impact. Get that laser ready! Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe we should, that's like, not gonna help me beat Mob Chuck. Open his mouth? Should we use, like, the Why am I still something? caring? I'd shove my. Um, that's not gonna help me beat Mob Ladder? Short things can surprise you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Whoa. Fire away. Die, you monster. Die quick. Or we're going to have a meltdown up here. Here comes the biggest twist of the game. Nope. Now watch. Watch though. I think I've already showed you, but it's still pretty cool. Dun dun dun. The share. Another share because you just spoke to old share. No, no, we don't know that that is Cher. That was just a theory. And there we go, we're back to the beginning. Select what side we want to be on. The light side or the dark side. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos by me and Robber Dad, subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Au revoir.